How's it going everyone? Brandon here and we have a new trailer. We got a new uh, new part to our new addition I could say to the company and uh, I'll show you guys the inside here. It's a mess right now. We did pick up a uh, half inch OSB. I got like 12 2 by 4 by 8 and I'm planning to build a shelf on this side for um, above these tools above the compressor table saw miter box we're gonna build a shelf above there maybe if i can fit two we have a uh, seven feet tall you guys can see we can uh, stand in here i'm six one six two no problem standing in here um but this place is a mess right now because i did pick up a patio door today uh helping out a buddy get one of those in in his house and um we got all these tools just shoved up to the front because the patio door didn't fit so we're gonna find a spot for all of these uh, tools down here. And uh, main thing is that once I get this uh, kind of built, this is more temporary I'd say than anything. So for those of you guys saying, oh, I wouldn't do that in my trailer, I could care less because this is temporary and uh, I have a big job coming up next week potentially. And I need to have the trailer fully loaded with materials and everything because there's no hardware store around or whatever. So the goal is to get all of these tools like mainly uh, the finished guns, whatever, framing guns, whatever cased um, item there is, whatever, on the second shelf here. And then I'll figure out how much room I have to build a second or a third shelf, and then potentially um, a fourth shelf, which will go for my uh, levels there and maybe a broom, whatever. I did buy a zip wall today. For those of you guys that don't know what that is, I'll show you guys in another video. We also did pick up a safety kit. That's one thing that's been on my uh, list for a while and uh, you never know when you uh, chop your finger get a little cut that you uh, you need to use that so that's pretty much it I'll show you guys the process enjoy <laughs> guys so i didn't really show you much of what was being done here but you guys can check it out um this is like i said more of a temporary thing it might be permanent i mean some of it is pretty permanent and i did spend a lot of money on lumber but um as far as where everything goes that could definitely change like these batteries up here anything small i'm gonna make a shelf if i can turn the rocket light here you guys can see i'm gonna make a shelf going right across there and hopefully put like some small things like caulk or anything like that uh battery wise i don't know we'll figure it out it's this thing isn't done yet either as you can see i'll show you up here we got like a couple things we bought some uh, zip wall like third i feel we call them like third hands or third arms whatever um got the levels up here um jigsaw craig jig saws off for now i mean this is all temporary like i said things things could change uh shifting wise like where everything's going but we were running low on material so we had to make up for this we're, we're missing like an inch there so i kind of just winged it i didn't want to buy more material than i needed and i didn't want to i don't know not waste material i just didn't want to spend any more money i spent a lot of money today um getting things prepped and new tools that i'll need in the future i bought some drywall tools bought a paint sprayer i mean i bought quite a few things and it added up pretty quick so the only thing I really want to do next is get some sort of board to run through here on each side, maybe uh, back and forth so this doesn't keep bouncing back and forth. Same with that there, compressor, whatever. And uh, that'll pretty much be all set. And then what I plan to do here, now I might not do this, I might do this soon, I might not, um, is to make kind of something, maybe a wall coming out a foot, maybe two feet. So I'll still have plenty of room to walk through here. Um, and maybe make some sort of workbench here, um, maybe up front here or something. I don't know. My dad mentioned if I ever need a break, which honestly is not in my plans right now. Having a break is a pretty serious thing. And unless I'm doing a lot of work that involves a break, I'd get one. But for now, I don't do any work really with a break. And if I am, I'm working with some other guys that have the break. Um, but one thing I did want is to have that to come out like a foot or two here and then be able to slide sheet goods whether it's drywall, 
or any plywood up into here so I would have a solid place for all of that to go. So it could just sit in there and uh, out of place, out of mind maybe. Maybe even put like, a, I've seen um, like a ladder going through there. I could put like a spot for a ladder to go through there. Right now I have these uh, ladder, this one ladder here set up as uh, well with my um, table saw stand. Now I don't have, um, I don't have a cord or whatever you call it. It's something to tie it to right now. So it's kind of just hanging there. It'll definitely fall over if I take it out. But um, I still got a lot to do here. And um, that'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thanks for coming along the journey. You know, this is a big step, big trailer, big step for the uh, next step in the uh, company. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.